toutes et à tous et bienvenue dans ce premier épisode de la saison 2 d'Abracadaba, la magie du digital learning vue par Academy by Apsid. Je suis Camille, l'hôte de ce podcast, et j'ai le plaisir aujourd'hui de vous retrouver avec Scott Seymour, l'un des trois enseignants d'anglais que nous avons la chance d'avoir au sein du groupe Apsid. J'échange avec lui à propos de son métier, avec la première interview en anglais d'Abracadaba. Si vous avez besoin de sous-titres, rendez-vous sur la chaîne YouTube. Bonne écoute Hi Scott. Hi there. Thank you for being here today with me for my first uh, interview in English. <laughs> it's quite a, a challenge for me, but uh, it's going to be okay. First of all, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, my my name is Scott Seymour. Um, I grew up in uh, in Texas, uh, not too far from Dallas, and. Uh, That probably explains why I like good barbecue, Mexican food, and American football. <laughs> um, I've worked here at APSI for a little over seven years, and my my educational background is in psychology, history, and uh, some business, obviously languages. Before APSI, I did uh, teach at the university level a little bit, um, and I also worked in in a couple mental health facilities and on a few uh, English companies here in the area. I also carried out a financial feasibility study for uh, one of the counties in Utah. So how is your work at APSID different from your past experiences? Good question. Um, I, I would say here at APSID, we, we have a... We've, We have it's it's a little different than most uh, companies, at least consulting companies, and probably beyond that, that they have they have an internal commitment to English teaching. Um, they've hired us directly, and they've also allowed us a lot of autonomy to to uh, address the individual needs of our students um, because they vary quite widely um, because we have several different uh, job profiles here within the company. Here at APSID, you're doing face-to-face -face lessons. How do you work with your students? What is a, a lesson with you like? Uh, my, my approach is um, I really want to get to know my students. Um, I, I, yeah, it's a very individualized approach. I really want to get to know their needs, their wants, and, and really get to know their interests in, in life. Um, and I feel like by showing that I care, it actually motivates them and we can find topics that uh, address their, their individual job and their individual interest um, to, to help them improve in, in, in English um, now in, in their professional life. Usually the lessons are individuals. Are there any group activities or events organized? Right now, we've, we have a, a lunch that we are trying to carry out once every, every week or every two weeks, um, where we invite people here at the headquarters um, to an English lunch. Um, and uh, it's had a great start to that. Um, and we also have carried out weekly debates um, and here at the headquarters also. It's been one of the things we've done. We've had group lessons and we'll probably have more things uh, on the digital platform and in the future. Since you're talking about the digital platform we use at APSID, what is your use of digital for teaching? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, especially just recently, I, I had... I have a student that, that wanted to, to, to work on um, how to make an argument, obviously to persuade people in meetings or uh, in other settings. Mm -hmm. And so, so I suggested using ChatGPT mm -hmm. to get a structure, not, not necessarily to copy and what, what ChatGPT can do for them, um, but it can actually help them to get started. And, uh, I obviously I use other tools. I don't use technology just for technology's sake, mm -hmm. but I think that technology can definitely help us uh, to reach our students in different ways. So, 
for example, I use Google Docs. I ask them to sometimes produce MP3s, and sometimes I do that for them. Mm -hmm. There's also text to IPA notation. There's Teams. There's email, and um, there's also grading software of text. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just so many tools out there to use, and uh, I'll continue to look for more. If you could only give one piece of advice, what would you say to someone who wants to improve their English? I would say, <laughs> it's a good question. I, I would say they need to feel, to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, it's like a pair of new shoes mm -hmm. and you need to wear them. Mm -hmm. You need to use them until they become yours. Mm -hmm. It's like a second skin. And we might be very comfortable with their old pair of shoes. <laughs> but sometimes we need to use another pair of shoes. And uh, they can become quite handy sometimes. And, and as we do so, those other, that other pair of shoes can be nice too. So practice is a key. Last but not least, if you had to give only one tip... What advice would you give to someone who wants to become a teacher? I think it just, I know it sounds cliche, but I, I really think it comes to caring about care, passion. Passion for your subject and passion for, for each individual student and helping them uh, learn the material and seeing it uh, from their point of view. There, there's a quote that comes to mind uh, from uh, that's attributed to Theodore Roosevelt. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. We're going to leave you with that last thought. Thank you, Scott, for your participation. Thank you. Encore une fois, merci à toi, Scott, pour ta participation à cet épisode. Vous pouvez écouter l'ensemble des épisodes d'Abracadaba sur Spotify, Deezer ou encore sur la chaîne YouTube Academy by Abside et sur notre page LinkedIn du même nom. Je vous retrouve le mois prochain avec Julien Créache et Damien Rouxel, Tech Lead à Rennes, avec qui nous parlerons formation informelle et pizza. Je ne vous en dis pas plus. Bonne rentrée à tous et à bientôt. Bye